I was born with a beta cell mutation. Um, it's really rare. It's kin to diabetes, but treated completely different. If you have a problem, you basically have to write it out. I always wanted to grow up and go to college and get my own job and have my own apartment and then get married, <laughs> um, which is exactly what happened. I was advised as I was older not to get pregnant. It was a leap of faith. I found I was pregnant five days before my husband went to basic training and his AIT, and he was gonna be gone for seven months. I spent five months total at my parents' house under 24-hour care with my mom. The first, by 16 weeks, I lost 18 pounds. Jared came back July 28th, about a little under two months before Leanne was born. So he, the first time that he saw her on an ultrasound or heard her heartbeat was August 3rd. I'd say it was a lot to take in. I had a scheduled C-section at 39 weeks. A C-section is a major surgery, but it never felt that way. I definitely wasn't scared. We heard her cry, and I know they did lift her to where my husband could see her. I touched her head and her hand, and I don't remember anything else in the operating room. It went black. Leanne had been in, was in our room for a while, and my mom was holding her, and she thought, she doesn't look right. Her color's off. The team at Baptist Health, I mean, the world to me during, especially the first day, because I was 100% I was dependent on them to take care of me, to take care of her. The mother-baby team was awesome. They adjusted to me. They brought me all my meals to the NICU, to her room. They came to do all my vitals there. They did all of my stuff that they could do. They came and did in the NICU. It's almost like they understood. They didn't just accommodate me physically. They mentally made sure that I was in the best spot I could be in. <laughs> I'm still amazed at that they were able to handle me the way they did because it was unknown. It was it was a different territory, and they did it lovingly. They did it um, always in a very positive way. I wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere else. They somehow made what what was really a very traumatic time for me into something that I can look back and I can smile about now. And I really feel like without them, I don't think that we would be here today where we are. The staff at Baptist Health was wonderful. Couldn't have asked for anything more. I'm more appreciative than I could ever describe. Yeah. <laughs>